everyone and welcome back to Parkasaurus. And I'm sorry it's taken a little bit to get back. Uh, we've been busy and I've been trying to get my schedule to uh, schedule to work out here. Oh yeah, we have uh, we have a new Styracosaurus to hatch too. And we've been giving some of the others a uh, little fall themed name soaps. That's the tree. That's not the dino. So Agnes. Uh, we have a delivery. So Agnes is female. So we have what? What are the dinos we have in here? So that's not the fence. <laughs> I always click the wrong thing here. So let's see. So we have Percival, Sullivan, Pumpkin, Ember, Auden, and Agnes. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna go ahead and change Agnes's name to Autumn because uh, that's a nice. Uh, well, that is a fall theme name. It basically means fall. And uh, that's nice and fitting here. So we'll do that. And uh, there is actually supposed to be a Parkasaurus update coming out on Monday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We'll try to play it pretty much uh, pretty soon. I don't know if we'll be um, doing it right away or not. I'm going to be making Parkasaurus our weekend series. So you'll have episodes on Saturday and Sunday, hopefully, uh, if the schedule works out. So how are these guys' social needs? It is full. That's good. Okay, so we don't have to expand this anymore. Let's just make sure... Well, I think the enrichment... Okay, apparently these guys just need more enriching, but I think that might be a, a daytime... Like, I think they have to maybe fulfill a certain quota over the course of the day. And if that's the case, then we should be alright. So, we also have peaches and pears here in, in opposite order. And they only really need one more dino, it looks like. So, they need 470... Or no, that's that's the aggression. 490 feet. And we have... Oh yeah, we have enough. So we're going to go ahead and we will get uh, another Parasaurolophus here. Let's go to the town. And we should be able to purchase one. So here we go. Oh, I need to pick up that delivery. Let's create a new one. And we'll go ahead and drop that egg right in here. Because uh, we should be fine with that. And not have to worry too much about these guys um, running out of space. So let's get the delivery. Look at all the crowds. Oh my goodness. Oops, I clicked a guest instead of that. Man, you guys shouldn't be unhappy yet. You're not even the... Well, I mean, okay, if I was waiting in line to get into a park, I probably wouldn't be that easy or that happy about things either. But uh, nevertheless. So let's see what other species we have. Let's also make sure that we buy quite a few gems. Because we want to make sure we have a lot of them. So we can do that. We'll buy some rare gems. I'm going to spend a lot of money here, <laughs> but we have a lot of money coming in, so I'm not too, too worried about it. Uh, but let's take a look and just see here. Um, what spe so we've got, uh, we've got Triceratops, we've got Stegosaurus, we've got Styracosaurus, and we've got uh, the Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophosaurus? Is that the name? Am I saying it wrong? I think I said it wrong. Parasaurolophus. No, Parasaur... Yep. Yeah. Parasaurolophus. I'm going to say these names wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so let's go back and see what other dinos we can actually get. So we can also get the Achelosaurus. Uh, we have Styracosaurus. We have Stegosaurus. We have Kentrosaurus. Uh, G Gigantospinosaurus. Uh, Chatungasaurus. And then a lot of other ones that we don't have... Um, enough for yet. We can get a Tyrannosaurus Rex eventually too. Of course, I mean, of course we can. <laughs> that's, that's like a that's like the what you wonder what you think of when you think of dinosaurs. You have to have the Tyrannosaurus in here. Um, but I think what I'm going to go for next is the Kentrosaurus. So let's create. Um, I'm going to do six. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and we'll grab that. We should have six. So that's the herd size for these guys, and so I would imagine that might be the herd size for others as well. A lot of you guys want to see me get into the meat eaters. We will do that in time, don't you worry. Uh, just not quite yet. So let's see here. Um, hmm. What am I going to do? I was going to... Let, let me place down the... Um, what, what am I thinking? The lights. <laughs> and we should be able to... So if we go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And did I actually get 10 between 1, 2, 3, 4, wait, 3, 4? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, okay, so I messed this all up again. Alright, we're gonna pick this up. 
and move it one more. There should be 10 between, and so on number 11 is where you actually place the light. Um, let's do that. So we normally have four, so we've got... How many do we have down here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'll do one more and uh, make it about that long. So let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one more. And that's what we'll do for this. Let's go ahead and we'll run fence all the way down here. And this will be our next corner. How far do we have to the... Oh, we actually are quite a ways through the park already. Wow, okay. So we probably need to start putting in... Um, we, can, we can probably start putting in some of our more major dino species here. So right about there. And if we run this... Oops, we should put that right here then we should be able to just drop that right there. All right, so we have a new exhibit. It is how big? 200 or 2,959 feet. That's pretty good. Um, I think we can put in, let's see. That should get us most, if not all of the dinos. But first we have to uh, get the exhibit working in the first place. So we gotta get that all set up and we might make it a little bit bigger, we will see. Um, how big is this exhibit? How big is the uh, Styraco? Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to rename it. So it's supposed to be Styraco Acres. Or Styraco Acres. There we go. And so we have that. We have... It's not called the chain light. Let me click the fence. There we go. Stegotopia. Uh, Tricera Paradise. Um, I didn't actually name this one. You guys will have to suggest names for that uh, exhibit because we actually haven't named it yet. So what, ex what uh, habitat are they from? So they're from the tundra. So we need mud. So let's go to this one. <laughs> I always forget where everything is supposed to be. So that fits nicely in with, um, with this, uh, this set of exhibits as well. That's a good thing. And we'll just drop this like right here. There we go. And now it's swamp. And so to make it a tundra, what do we have to do? We just have to increase the ruggedness without making it too wet. Okay. So what we want to do is smart terrain. It's normally what I do. And then we can kind of expand this out a little bit. I like, we'll probably, we'll do like a bigger kind of flatter area. I'm going to kind of just round out this place a bit. Kind of make it a little bit more, um, we want to smooth it a slight bit so that it's not large, um, large gaps, I guess, so that it does, it's not jaggedy, but at the same time it's not, like, perfectly polished either. Uh, so let's come over here, extend this a slight bit, we can go down here. This is actually almost rugged enough to qualify, we just have to go a little bit farther. There we go, and then we can do that, and this... We'll make it even more rugged than that, though. But the park is going to close. So let's go ahead. We earned quite a bit. It looks like we got... How much did we get? We got over 30,000. So there we go. And uh, what are we at? 3.64. That's not too bad. Um, anything? No, it's, it's pretty good. Everybody seems to be fairly happy. So we'll go ahead and continue on here. Let's keep making this a little bit more rugged, though, because we want to make sure that we get that ruggedness up, and uh, I really, I, I, I like having mountains. Mountains are fun. So let's go ahead and we'll smart terrain this up a bit. There we go. Now it is considered a tundra. Let's see. So this is not going to let us, um, this is not going to let the dinos go up it. So what I need to do, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to smart terrain this up, and there we go. And then we can expand this. I'll kind of extend it out a little bit, and we'll extend it out this way. And a little bit there. We'll kind of indent that. Let's make sure we pick up that delivery. We probably will want to increase our delivery amount again. Even though we already are getting quite a lot. And I'm going to kind of... What do I want to do? I don't really mind that, so I'm going to actually smart terrain just a little bit higher here. So let's flatten out this whole area, make it a little bit larger over here. 
make that cliff just a little bit steeper there and then we'll make this cliff steeper as well and we'll kind of indent that a little bit again just so that it's not perfectly manicured and looking very man-made. The more rough a shape gets, the more organic it tends to feel. So now let's go ahead and we'll add some water. So I'm gonna place, I'm just gonna kind of roughly place the water in. So we'll do that here. What we wanna be careful of is not to add so much water that it becomes alpine. We can add a little more over here and that's probably as much as we can manage. So let's do, nope, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's do this. Make it a little bit larger, just a little bit. Oops, nope, I don't want that. And we'll go, no, that's not what I wanted either. Uh, we'll come over here, over here, and we'll kind of, we'll just make sure that again, the corners, is the more square something looks, the more man-made it's gonna look, but the more irregularly shaped, or like if it's a perfect circle, it's gonna tend to look man-made. So the more irregularly shaped something is, the more it's going to look natural and um, not like it was just placed there by man. So that's a really good way of um, kind of adding interest is to use more organic shapes when you're building with something like this. Uh, Cause that'll just help kind of make it, no, too much, okay, too much water. So we've got to really, um, we got to really cut back on this pond then and actually kind of trim back this one and not let it be quite so big. Um, let's bring that corner in. I'm going to extend it out this way and hopefully that won't be too much. I'm going to bring that corner in. No, it's alpine. Darn it. Okay. Um, we're kind of hovering right at that edge there. So let's also bring in the corners of this. We're not going to extend this one out anyway. We just, because uh, we don't want it to leak. And a lot of the time it'll leak if you do that. So that works. And we'll do this. Um, I will make that a little bit bigger. No, not quite that big. There we go. So that's pretty good. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to place in um, enough uh, scenery to make it biodiverse. So we can put some reeds right around here. Why are you unhappy, sir? Oh shoot, I forgot that the reeds will uh, make those weird little bumps. <laughs> that was not really what I wanted to see. We gotta kind of step it back a little bit and then flatten this out again so that it's not all weird. Uh, but we'll make sure that we put in some more reeds. We want to keep them fairly close, but we don't want them right on the edge here. Uh, we got to make sure we get this open as well, this panel. Uh, we can put some reeds up here. We got to keep them close to the water so that they don't, um, we don't, or so that we can actually place them basically, because otherwise it won't let us place them. And are we still seeing unhappy faces? I'm not seeing too many unhappy faces. I'm seeing, I'm seeing people in line being unhappy. And I think that's because they're on their way to buy food. So let's make sure we put this ancient magnolia in. That's going to boost the special decoration. And so we need to put some of this in. Um, we can do that. Put some down here. But again, they have to be fairly close to the water. So we don't want them to be too far away. I, that one might be. Um, we should be just about diverse enough or at least as much as these will get us. Yeah, okay, so let's make sure we also place in some ferns. Ferns are pretty good to place, and um, they will help us with making sure that then um, we have enough uh, biodiversity, whereas the other ones enhance the look and feel of the exhibit. So, and that that's its own, that's its own stat at the bottom there. That's the uh, tier two to increase realism. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word I was looking for. All right, so now trees, we wanna place some of these in and we'll, that should get the, um, that should get the bottom stat there all the way up. Ooh, okay, um, it's already almost all the way up. So I'm gonna place just a few more around to make it more interesting because I like the way these look. And this is increasing our trees as well. So that's good to know because then we can make sure we have a lot of them. We also want to place in, we can put some dead trees. We can put some dead trees in, kind of give it a little bit of a, a creepier feel in some places. Kind of have maybe a little bit of a dead area back here. A little bit spooky. And we'll place in, we could get a scary tree as well. We can do that. And a tree stump, that's kind of cool. 
Uh, we can place some of that in, kind of add like a, a little bit of a creepy area here. A little bit. Oh, oh, it still needs water. Okay, then we can't do too much with that apparently. Uh, well, we'll do we'll do like a little mini swamp here. Let's pick that up, and we'll place that here, and we'll move these a little closer as well, and we'll just make like a little mini swamp land because that's kind of cool. <laughs> And let's check here then. Okay, we actually have enough trees, but I do want to add a few more, so I'm going to add just some miscellaneous birch trees in around here, just so that it doesn't look quite so barren, because it is... Oh, you know what else is making it look barren? Um, we don't have any of the grass laid in, so let's actually go back to here and make sure we put in some of this mud privacy tile here. Again, we want to stick with more organic shapes, not quite just always flat everything. That'll help with uh, making it look nicer. We can add some of that up there. And again, we want to make sure that there, it's not just even shapes. So add some grass down here. And we can do that. Add some along here and some along here. And we'll put another patch right over here. We can do something like that. So there we go. Oops, I didn't need to rotate this. This doesn't really have an effect if you rotate it. Um, so something like that looks pretty good. We'll add a little more in here. We do also have to add paths, so we want to make sure we do that. Um, and then what I think we'll do is let's go add some rocks. So we can actually add, so this, this region has the crystals, so we can kind of just sprinkle those all throughout the exhibit. They don't look bad if you uh, put them around, um, rather than having a huge rock in the middle of it in the middle of the exhibit. It doesn't look too bad this way. So let's add this in and we'll see. I really want to get some desert exhibits in too. That's the one thing we've never really gotten to do. We don't have desert grassland or savanna and I don't know what kinds of dinos actually need those. So I definitely want to continue exploring until we find those because that'll be pretty interesting to see. All right, almost done. Oh, the day's done. That's what's happening here. So we got... More or less, I think we got a, well, actually about, that was about the same. Uh, so let's see, for the most part, people seem, oh, the sun was too bright, so we gotta put in more shade structures. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, for the most part, it's looking good, except we need to add shade structures. So that's one thing I should do here. Oh, it's actually raining, okay. So I'm going to actually drop a shade structure in here. I'm going to delete some of this fence and kind of remove that. And then we will drop a shade structure. Well, actually what I'm going to do... Oh, there we need more trash cans here too. Did I not put trash can? Oh, oh that's... Oh, no, I put one in. Okay, I'm not going to delete. Uh, what I did add was a trash can back here. Pardon me. Oh, let me click the trash can, please. I just want to click on the trash can. There we go. We want to upgrade the trash can. Oh, it's going to make me click it again each time. All right, do we have a better upgrade? We don't. So let's make sure we pick up the delivery. Oh, we actually, oh, we did get the one yesterday. I was like, did we not? But we did. Um, so let's see here. What I want to do is actually add in, well, we want to add some feeders, a very large feeder. This all gives, that gives food that the some of these give enrichment as well. We want one that'll give both. And so I'm gonna put that feeder like right in here. We also want to make sure that we're placing lights properly on this side. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh oh. One, two, three. Well, what I'm going to do, because I kind of want to even these out, so I'm going to go one, two, and one. And that should put them about an even distance apart. I'm going to place down as well. I'm going to put, if I can find it, a shade structure. So we'll put that like right here and make sure we surround it with the proper fence and that will help the people and there we go that's back to normal now let's make sure we put in a door and we'll put a door on the other side as well we'll put that over there and we'll actually run the path now i think so let's do that we need our paths here we can run this along here 
can run this along here and we can do that uh, we actually got to remove some things we've got some trees here that need to get out of the way we gotta I'm gonna just delete a bunch of this stuff here if I can so let's see that if we actually scenery delete so I think that will get rid of some of this it'll get rid of the trees so there we go that'll help with some stuff all right and then let's run the path on the other side too so we just want to come down here and we just want to come down here so this is not really made to be a main walkway area it's just kind of a path through and I think what I'll do now is hmm, what do I want to do over here I'm gonna delete some more stuff first of all um, hmm how do I want to handle this what I think I want to do well I don't want to hmm I keep missing that tree what I, I kind of want to I want to run one down here but I want to make sure we can get the whole herd in first so let's go ahead and we'll place all of our dino eggs too because we're close enough that I don't think that should be a problem. And then if we have any issues with the um, with the, the exhibit being too, uh, too small for them, we'll just create some of them and put them in our inventory for a little while. So last thing, so I wanted to put another feeder on this side. We can put in another shade structure over here. In fact, I will drop that in like right about here so when we build the exhibit we'll be able to uh, build around that um, and that way people can take shelter if they want to um, playground that's a bad playground oh my goodness we also have oh yeah I wanted to put a photo booth stego in here somewhere we can actually drop that right there that'll be kind of fun and then we can just cut out a bit of the corner of the exhibit and that shouldn't be a big deal um, what else do we have? We've got a lot of Parkasaurus arches. We've got the Moss Arch, which is like... Hmm. I could put it there. I could also put it... That would actually be the perfect size to fit somewhere like this. I'll put it on the other end of this path, probably. Yeah, that'll work. And then uh, what we want to do more for the exhibit, we also want to add in some shelters. We have, wow, that is a large, uh, a large one. So these guys are medium sized. We want the large medium shelter, or the large medium shelter, the top tier medium shelter is what I was trying to say. Um, that's kind of an oxymoron to say a large medium shelter. Uh, but let's come over here and I will drop in one more right here. There we go. That should be good, and that should satisfy their needs, and I think that's pretty much the exhibit. So the other thing I want to do, so how far are we from this side of this, the park? We're, we're a little ways. So the other thing I want to do is we're probably about due for a food court. I'm going to do, oh nice job, we got to level up. Um, what I'm going to do is add another food court. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Five, that'll give us 15 squares and then one two and we'll just kind of fill in the area here um, and it's actually almost the day is almost up so I think we'll probably have to wait until next time to hatch our new dinos because they're not gonna be quite ready probably we'll see uh, they may but I don't think they're going to so we'll add that in there and then I'm gonna kind of add like an amusement area on this side I think so we'll have food on one end and amusement on the other we also should probably spend our upgrades at some point soon here. So we definitely want to put garbage bins in here. I'm going to put a big old burger place. And um, that'll leave a little bit of room for something else. Uh, you know what goes good together? Burger and fries goes good together. And we should also then be able to place garbages yeah, right here between them. So hopefully we won't have people just running amok and dropping their garbage everywhere. Uh, but yeah, burgers and fries go nice together. And then maybe on the other side what we will add is um, like a, a soda thing. Do we have a soda stand? Soda and pop. Okay. So let's go around here. And then we can put like a playground next to it, I'm thinking, if we have a good playground. Is there anything... That's... Yeah, that's a really bad... <laughs> That's a really bad playground, and I don't think I really want to mess with that. So let's see if we have more 
uh, more something in in the science that we can do. So we got all of those. We want okay a fun pack. We completed that. Okay, fun pack two. This looks like what we want. Okay, a basic playground, and we can actually get a fancy playground. Oh, so it was an upgrade. Okay. So what we can do then is we can place in a playground. Too. Ooh, that is huge. Okay. We might actually have to expand this a little bit then. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, we'll do that. We'll add in the playground, and then... I'm gonna scoot this. Ooh, I gotta scoot it over here. Oh, I'm sorry, person. <laughs> I did not mean to do that to you. That was this was not my intention. Okay. Oh, we are running out of food too. Okay. So we've gotta we gotta we gotta order more food. I wanna try and do that quickly. So town food. If I can find the food. Okay. So up this as much as I can before the day ends. Seventy two is good. We can do that, and then the next day we'll get a lot more food. And uh, we should be good to go there, but unfortunately that is all the time we have for today. It looks like, okay, oh, we got another level up. That's good. <laughs> it looks like we do have to wrap up the episode here for today, unfortunately. So let's take a look at our comments, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up. So, it went down again a little bit. Um, so many spam comments still. <laughs> They're bored, okay. Somebody thought that it wasn't clean. And so we might want to hire more janitors. It seems like you just have to have a lot of janitors. Um, and then, yeah, I think for the most part, it looks like we're doing pretty well. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, our attendance is dropping, though. So we got to keep adding new stuff. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, though. We'll have to deal with that in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.